For us, whirlwind does not exist. Maliwanag po sa amin, nagpunta si Kasi Ong doon, hindi naman po tungkol sa whirlwind eh. Lucky South 99 na currently, during the time, ay isang license holder ng pagbor. So, yun po ang tunay na ipinakikiusap ni Cassandra Kasi Leong at ni Attorney Harry Roque. So, yun po eh, hindi po kami nakukonfuse, uh, Congressman Adjong. Secretary Roque, what, what, what is your take on that? Kasi mukhang, how can you convince us that there has nothing to do, your presence there has nothing to do with Lucky South 99, Mr. Chair? Nandun po si Cassandra Ong bilang ahente ng Lucky South. And since I represented an agent, ang ibig sabihin po, ang kliyente ko yung ahente. So I rendered service to an agent of uh, Lucky South. These are two entities, corporations, and yet the person running these companies are one and the same. Klaro na po, na tama, dalawang company ito, dalawang kumpanya, pero run by the same person. I'd like to ask uh, Secretary Roque, did you do your due diligence My only knowledge of Executive uh, Order Number 13 was in the last hearing when uh, former Chair Domingo said that um, President um, Duterte regulated um, uh, online gambling no? through um, Executive Order Number 13. I find it strange that sa dami po ng hearing na inaattendan niya, both in the Senate and in the Congress, all pertaining to Bogos. He have not come across EO number 13 from which the POGOS or the online gaming started. That EO number 13 brings online gambling into life. And when the president issued executive order number 13, it is the humble submission of this representation. He legislated, he amended, he repealed the law. An act which violates the fundamental principle of separation of power. So, would you know, uh, Mr. Chair, Secretary Roque, does Cassandra Ong, Li Ong, the representative of uh, Lucky South 99, know? Can she speak English and understand English? Well, ang pagkakakilala ko po kay Cassandra, siya po ay uh, marunong mag-Chinese, nag-aral po sa China, at siya nga po ay uh, translator para dito sa mga Lucky South. So, she can, po, pwede po siyang magsalita ng Tagalog or English, no? Opo. Opo. So, that does mean that uh, Ms. Cassandra Ong can communicate directly with the Chairman Altenko or Padbor? Uh, po, pwede po. Po, pwede. So, uh, ibig sabihin po, Hindi na ho kailangan, uh, Mr. Chair, ang uh, uh, that Cassandra Ong does not necessarily need your assistance to go to PAGCOR and have that meeting uh, in relation to the RERs that they need to pay. May I correct? Kailangan po kasi nung mga panahon na yon, ang representante ng Lucky South sa PAGCOR ay si Mr. Dennis Kunanan. When did you first ano, discuss with Ms. Cassandra Ong about uh, going to... Ano, about you going with her to Pagcor. Buwan na rin po ng July. Doon po niya sinangguni sa akin na nalaman lang nila dahil nakatanggap na sila ng sulat po sa Pagcor na naniningil ang Pagcor. Humingi po sila ng meeting sa isang uh, restaurant dito po sa Resorts World. So she specifically requested you to go with her with pa to Pagcor? Well, ang sabi lang po niya, may problema kami. So uh, at this time, when you met her and asked you, Mr. Chair, Secretary Roque, uh, of these um, perhaps uh, legal advices, were you already employed by Whirlwind Company? Hindi pa po. At that time po, wala kaming professional relations. Okay. Would you confirm this, uh, Chairman Tenko? Yes. Uh, on uh, the week prior to July 26, the office of uh, sec former Secretary Roque uh, got in touch with my office. Who requested you to make these follow-ups? Uh, Request po ako ni Kasi Ong kasi ang sabi po niyan, hindi raw niya makontak si uh, Atty. Uh, Jessa. No? So That's you're doing this um, 
Hired na po kayo as a lawyer of Wilwin Company? Opo, nagsimula na po yung kaso kasi two weeks after the meeting on uh, July 26, eh, hinire na po niya kami para doon sa ejectment case at ang first task na po namin is ma-prevent yung execution na inisyo ng regional trial court ng... Apart from paying the RERs, the application as well uh, for a license nung sa newly amended guidelines ng uh, Secretary. So you would know, for example, of this, the nature of these follow-ups that it pertains also for their application for the IGL license. Am I correct? Tama po yan kasi ang pinag-aawayan nga po yung possession dun sa lugar na ginagamit for Pogo. May I ask uh, Secretary Rock, and uh, maybe Chairman uh, Tenko, would you know in that meeting who represented whom? I mean, these are two entities, no? Whirlwind Company and South Lucky Nine. W would you know which or either of the two, Secretary Roque and, uh, <laughs> and Kaskasi Ong represented whom or what? Well, um, Congressman Ajong. Or are you still also confused at that time because you thought they're still the same, one and the same? No, uh, first of all, very clear in my mind, and I was in fact conferring with Attorney Jessa earlier, there was no discussion on Worldwind during that said meeting. Uh, and I think more important to note is the fact that Worldwind has no relationship with Pagport. For us, Whirlwind does not exist. Maliwanag po sa amin, nagpunta si Kasi Ong doon, hindi naman po tungkol sa Whirlwind eh. Nagpunta po si Kasi Ong doon para ipakiusap yung arrears ng Lucky South 99 na currently, during the time, ay isang license holder ng Pagpor. So, yun po ang tunay na ipinakikiusap ni Cassandra Kasi Leong at ni Attorney Harry Roque. So, yun po eh, hindi po kami nakukonfuse, uh, Congressman Adjong. Secretary Roque, what, what, what is your take on that? Kasi mukhang, how can you convince us that there has nothing to do, your presence there has nothing to do with Lucky South 99, Mr. Chair? Nandun po si Cassandra Ong bilang ahente ng Lucky South. And since I represented an agent, ang ibig sabihin po, ang kliyente ko yung ahente. So I rendered service to an agent of uh, Lucky South. Mr. Chair, I have here the agreement, lease agreement between Whirlwind Company, the lessor, and the leasee, in this case, South Lucky South 99, Outsourcing Incorporated. Miss Cassandra, Catherine Cassandra L. Ong, who represented Lucky South 99 in the first lease agreement contract, is now representing her uh, representing Whirlwind Corporation. And Miss, the one that would, uh, rep, uh, that one that signed this contract represented Lucky South 99 Outsourcing Incorporated is now, this time, Miss Ronilyn Materna. So, may kita nyo po, kaya po kami nakukonfuse that these are two entities corporations and yet the person running these companies are one in the same klaro na po na tama dalawang company ito dalawang kumpanya pero run by the same person i'd like to ask uh, secretary roque did you do your due diligence in finding out that miss cassandra ong used to be or in this case siyang magiging Uh, lessor in ng, ng Wilwin Company. Paniwala po ako na isa ho kayo sa magaling na abogado. At hanggang ngayon po, mataas po respeta, respeto ko sa inyo. Pero basic lang po, no? rudimentary, I, I think this is being taught in, the law, in law school. You have to do your due diligence before accepting any client. So I cannot go beyond that po kasi ang kasuhan lang, ejectment between the cruise and Wilwin. So, hindi naman po at issue sa ejectment case yung lease contract between Whirlwind and Lucky South. Sa, perhaps this is, I share this with our common tao, the average-minded person listening to us and watching this committee hearing. But, nagkaganon. If we follow your logic, Mr. Chair, and your justification that you are exclusively, exclusively limiting your services to this particular case that you have filed, 
involving uh, eviction cases or eviction case, why did you have to go to PAGCORM's meeting and then make some follow-ups? Sinasabi niyo ngayon sa committee ito that you are limited. You do not, kasi limited ka lang doon sa eviction. And yet, you went overboard with this new development that we learned na dalawang entities, similar persons running these companies. Whatever explanation that we have from Secretary Roque, the bottom line, Mr. Chair, is it benefited a lot, Lucky South 99, which is far, far from the legal services he was offered and accepted to by him uh, between himself, Mr. Chair, and Will Win Company. If ever there will be erroneous decisions on the part of the President, Attorney Harry Roque will be calling the attention and correcting or perhaps stopping the President from pursuing such erroneous action. I could only speak for the President. I could not actually countermand him. I could not correct him. He is my principal. I wish to invite the attention of Attorney Roque to Executive Order Number 13. And I wish to state for the record, Mr. Chair, that for the very first time, the term online gaming was mentioned in Executive Order Number 13. This is something which is not mentioned, which is not provided in PD 1869, as well as in RA 9487. May I ask the resource speaker, when the president issued executive order number 13, don't you think he legislated? I am unable to make uh, an opinion. Because when I was uh, a spokesperson, legal matters such as these are directed to the uh, Presidential Legal Council or to the Office of the Solicitor General or to the Legal Office of the Office of the President under the Executive Secretary. My only knowledge of Executive uh, Order Number 13 was in the last hearing when uh, former Chair Domingo said that um, President um, Duterte regulated um, uh, online gambling. No? through um, executive order number 13. I find it strange na sa dami po ng hearing na inaattend niya, both in the Senate and in the Congress, all pertaining to BOGOs, he have not come across EO number 13, from which the BOGOs or the online gaming started. That the President encroached upon the power of the Congress when he issued Executive Order Number 13, providing for online... Well, Mr. Chair, first and foremost, I argued that case of Belica. I was lawyer um, in the Supreme Court for uh, Mr. Belica, and I confirmed the principle of separation of powers. However, as I said, although it is not my expertise, I will give uh, my, my opinion, my candid opinion. And that is, under our scheme of things, Executive issuances, legislative uh, enactments are all presumed to be constitutional unless proven otherwise. So the status of uh, Executive Order Number 13, unless challenged in court, is that it is presumed to be constitutional. Executive orders being in the nature of implementing existing legislation, Your Honors. Mr. Chair, there's a principle in law. When the law does not provide, we should not provide. When the law does not include, we should not include. If the substantive law creating PAGCOR does not provide for online gaming, then no executive assurances should provide for online gaming. Kung wala naman pong sinabi dun sa substantive law, then the procedural law should not provide. Let us be reminded that the procedural law should always yield in favor of the substantive law. That EO number 13 brings online gambling into life. And when the president issued executive order number 13, it is the humble submission of this representation. He legislated, he amended, he repealed 
the law. An act which violates the fundamental principle of separation of power. The executive should not encroach upon the power to legislate that belongs exclusively to the Congress.